Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I might explode some one. Let's crack into another one. Mm, you want to do it? What do I want to do? <laughs> I don't know. Crack into another yeah, one. I do. Yo, I do. <laughs> I know I do. So, uh, did you hear about the pilot? Yes. Bro. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, go ahead, tell the story. So, there was a. I, I don't understand why he was in the cockpit, but I guess, like, they can. Pilots can ride in the cockpit when they're not the pilot. If they, like, are. It's like yes. kind of like airplane. Fo- air, air employees can ride on a plane for free, but I think pilots can ride in the cockpit for free because they're pilots or something. Yeah. Now, there's supposed to be, like, certain stipulations for that, though. Yeah. So, so he was in the thing. Yeah. And was he on mushrooms? Is that what they were saying? Bro, so I don't know what he was on. Um, I heard that he just had a mental break. Yeah, he had a mental breakdown and he tried to crash the plane. He was charged with 83 counts of attempted murder. Tried to cut the engines off while they were And the most effed up part is he was on his way to go pilot a plane when he landed. Yeah. So he would have been the one in control if he would have waited a few hours. <sighs> so... What does this tell you, Jonas? What does this tell that you? That everyone's mentally unstable since COVID? That everyone's mentally unstable since COVID? Yes. <laughs> I would say is that everyone is more mentally unstable since COVID. I think that people are always a little mentally unstable. I also think that this tells you is that we need to like uh we need to take time to think, respect, uh take the time out to maybe Thank some of these people who hold our lives in our in our hands every single day, the bus drivers, the uh, the pilots. Okay. Uh, who else? Who else holds their like oh, your Uber driver? Like, I've been in the car with some people that I felt scared with. I Uber. have too. I have too. I've I've had people who I didn't pay who I've gotten in the car. And but I felt you know what? With. I, I, even with the craziest Uber driver I've been in, I feel safer than if I like when I leave the bar driving home. I've never felt less safe in the Uber than I feel with me driving the car drunk. Oh, oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I mean, I'm calling an Uber because I can't operate a vehicle. Even if you're weird, you still got. I've got home every time. That is true. I've gotten home every time, and you know, I guess it's we got to think about it because we are guys, obviously. So it's a little. It's bit a different. lot. It's a lot scarier for women. Are Absolutely. women afraid to get into Ubers yes. late at night by themselves and drunk with a guy driver? A thousand percent. What about jogging at two a.m.? Would that be something a woman is afraid of? I would think so. Yes. All right. Say there's a room full of guys and I'm naked and I'm a woman. Should I be concerned? <laughs> I would think yes. That's funny because all three of those scenarios as a dude, like, we're good. If you're naked in a room full of guys, you don't have to worry about anything. I you're mean, I really no. No, you don't. <laughs> Most and, of them are like, hey, dude, you need you need a shirt or something? They're all like, can you put on some pants? I don't want to look at your junk. Yeah, like, yeah. Or even if we were in a room full of girls, like, they'd probably just laugh at you. Oh, they're like, look at that penis. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd do the little thing with your fingers where you're like, <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, um, God. No, so man, tiny. like, even the people who like sell you tickets to the bus, even like I mean, all those folks, they all they all got some stuff going oh, on, yeah, man. So, yeah, you're getting into the other thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, where you never really know where people are gonna have another mental break. I don't want to bring it up, but uh, you know, there was that that whole mass shooting that happened in Maine. As oh, well. I yeah, and he was like a army gun trainer and he like he's still at large i think right yeah i think so dude that's wild Um, as of go to a bowling alley and shoot people a bowling alley and a restaurant that's what oh he went to a restaurant too yeah he went to a bowling alley and went to a restaurant 16 uh confirmed dead as of the date being the year of our lord October twenty. I don't know because by the time this comes out, yeah, I mean, but I think I actually saw eighteen dead or sixteen injured or something. All right, well, either but way, dude, it's October twenty I mean, seventh. Truth, not facts. Um, yeah, so yeah, we. I, I don't know what proc that or what prompted him to do that. Or it, what, it said that he was institutionalized in the summer, and he said he was having uh, delusions of Bert yeah, doing this. And I, I heard reports from the family talking about he was having mental issues as of late. Um, mm-hmm. To an increased, uh, I saw a uh, uh, post online that was like it listed a bunch of shootings and it was like weapon AR fifteen AR fifteen AR. What is the problem here? Like that's what it said, and I'm like, <laughs> and I was Show like, and I was like, so. mental health. 
<laughs> like, like, I mean, because you know how many people own AR-15s that aren't doing that? Yeah, that's true. So there was twelve AR-15s used in a shooting. You know how many how many drive-bys have used a handgun? Oh, man, we can get we can do all the talking points. You know, let's do all the talking points. Do you know that the handgun is ten more times to <laughs> kill more? Well, yeah, people like than I mean, it's like. Yeah, you can kill a lot of people faster with an assault rifle, but like you can still kill people with handguns and shotguns, and people get killed with them every effing day. Yeah, I think that uh, I, I don't really know what the answer would be, honestly, because yeah. I honestly I feel like uh, we should have you know them readily available to us. I I, I enjoy have guns. Yeah, honestly, I love living in a country where I can go to you know Walmart Academy. Walmart. Yeah, and pick up a shotgun if I want to. That's I awesome. uh, I have to say I am indifferent for the most part. I guess I never thought about it, but I would have to say I feel better that I could if I wanted to than if I couldn't. Yeah. Like, um, I have to, like, honestly, the degree of safety, imagine this scenario, Jonas. They start dropping bombs on Florida. Yeah, I mean. What are you going to do? I'm going to go buy a gun. And how easy is that for you to do in this With love? a clean background? Easy yeah. as hell. Like, take me a day or however long uh, it takes for it to clear. And they'd definitely be, they'd be giving them away. Oh, if someone had started attacking the U.S., like, every gun store would just be like, come on in. Yeah. Um, I'm not a, like, I mean, uh, full transparency, I'm not a gun guy. I've only shot guns maybe, like, three, four times in my life. Once with me. Yeah. And oh, we shared. Oh no, that. let's see. We we shared that experience. Jones. We did that. Like, what was the last time I shot? I did them with. Yeah. I mean, the last and, time we shot was not too long. Yeah, ago, a couple months ago. Couple months but ago. no. Uh, yeah, I've I have probably shot less than made. Well, I shot with my grandpa a couple yeah. times. All right, we get the idea. But like less than we ten times <laughs> total. Probably less than five, to be completely honest. All right. Gotcha. And I don't care about owning a gun. I don't talk about guns. I don't give a crap about guns. I don't. You know, but I still think everyone should be able to buy one if they want one. Yeah. I think I everybody mean, should be able to buy crack if they want it too. Just don't buy it and don't smoke it if you don't want to get hooked on it, right? And I, like, yeah. And honestly, with the way that, like, the world, and I'm not just talking about, like, you know, the, the conflicts that are happening overseas, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about just the way that the world, because everybody's crazy, um, money hoarding is at an all-time oh, yeah. high. We look, at a, we look around the brink of the of the triple dub-dub going on over there, man. Bro, got... and they're like, there's this will... recent recent uh, statements by Iran. Oh, no, they, uh, they... Uh, I think I saw today they they uh, did something with a drone attack. We retaliated and they were they started attacking our military bases today. So like I don't know if you heard about that. I I ran made a statement like they pushed the button and then they started attacking our military bases over there. Yeah, so like it's escalated already in like the last I did not hear hours. that says the year of our Lord uh, October twenty second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, something like I was re I didn't get a chance to you know truth not facts here on the crazy town, but like. Why is Iran picking a fight with us? What? What? Look what happened when Iraq did it. They didn't even pick a fight. Uh, they've been supplying Gaza. They. Uh, hey man. And then uh, guess who's been supplying Israel? Us. Everybody else. Is Israel is just a a non Arab outpost in that in that land. Oh. Anyway. I mean, That's just like anybody is. anywhere else, man. Like, I mean, if you need some white people in in Arab, do you Israel? Is, there, you is that where, is that they're mainly white? Is it Caucasians in Israel? I don't know. What aren't Jews? Isn't that what Jews are? White folks? Aren't, oh yeah, aren't they? Are they not? I mean, I think there's Jews that aren't white, right? I imagine so. I mean, it's a religion, not a, <laughs> not not a religion, not an ethnicity. No, but like, yeah, but yeah. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It's it's wild out there. Mental health, it's on fire. It's crazy. And now I'm even thinking more about getting a gun, Jones. This shit chills up my spine when you were like, yo, they attacking our stuff. Yeah, they aren't attacking us here, but they'll attack us there. Oh, yeah. They ain't, they ain't, yeah, they ain't, they ain't riding a boat over here and trying to get Florida yet. We'll drop a Wow! <laughs> wow! Look at look at that patriotism. Look, come man, out. it'll come out. I'll turn real MAGA on these motherfuckers. I'll turn real MAGA on. I, them. I will okay. build a wall around Iran. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. 
build a wall around Iran, he says. Okay, all right. And on that note, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. See you, no daughter of mine. TNT. <laughs> we out.